Okay, just a quickie. This is um, the PTRX 9700. Um, and this is the, uh, I don't know, if this is the radio spectral version of it. There's like a plastic mount which needs to go on the sort of like the casting sort of snub, if you like, or the, the, the thing that pokes up. Um, that sits on the top. The trouble is underneath here, what you can't actually see is it's really, really tight underneath there. You need to get, I mark the, these. The, there are grey uh, connectors that go along on the on the main board. I normally mark them with just a red marker. Um, I normally put one mark and then two marks and then leave one blank. And then what I, I tend to do then is at least I know if, if I mix them up, I know where they come from. I then take the tape off and so that I can get a little bit more length out of them, then fix this this radio spectral um, card, if you like, um, in there. Connect the, the lower the connectors and then kind of then put these on, these sort of like tails, um, and then connect them to the main board. And then I can actually then locate this, but it's a real faff to get this in. The wires are actually very, very short. Um, and on top of that, you've got to really be careful of this or like ribbon cable and over this side as well. Um, both of those can be easily damaged. But with, this, with the radio spectral version, it uses a power supply, which is here, which is then connected via this, like a piggyback board. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a, this is the, the original cable, which you disconnect and then you put the piggyback board in there and then that goes in the back of the piggyback board and then goes off to this like uh, power module and um, the one thing i don't like about this particular module is on the back of the radio there's this kind of cage thing i absolutely hate this i think it's awful um it's just crying out to be knocked off um and in fact we I try to, I have to take this apart to ship it. It's actually really, really difficult to, to deal with. And this actually fits on the back of the radio somehow, sort of like on the on the back here, as I recall, um, and sort of pokes out. Um, it's not a great design at all. Um, it's quite horrible. Um, the And that gets its kind of feed from, from this like little adapter, which I have to, put in the back there somehow but I'll work that out in a moment and uh, I will show you the end result shortly okay so the last wires are in I've fitted this funny little adapter thing on the back and um, this is the the black wire is the um, the IF out um, or the clock out whatever and this is a, the um, the clock reference in um, that's normally on the radio from from factory um, and you can sort of see what I mean this is kind of like a, a horrific little thing now I've left this well, I've not tightened it fully up because it's actually quite difficult to do in there and I don't want to over tighten anything um, and the black wire goes across and actually goes on the top and this is the reference out or the or the IF out and the grey wire the one that's normally in there installs just down here just on the sort of like uh, right hand side if you look from the rear of the radio um, just so you know this is the underside of the radio okay so that pretty much uh, is the uh, 